Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of You Promise Me Darkness, issue number three. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Now let's get to it. But in the beginning of this book, we start off with Sage, this uh, <laughs> weird looking thing. I mean, that's just disfigured in my. It, it, and what's interesting about this comic, it starts off, everything's just dark. And the premise is every 75 years, Haley's comic orbits around, and when it orbits around, it grants people with these special powers and aura. Say, just talking about we're 10 days away from the end of the world, the Armageddon. And previously in the book, it talks about some famous Korean song uh, that triggers the end of the world where people just go, I'll give you a hint, Gangnam style, and everything is just going it's crazy from there. But Sage wants to first tell the news. Sebastian and Yoko, their brother and sister, uh, Sage is teaching Sebastian how to use his powers. And also to kind of tame him how to use his powers, he tells Sebastian that it was not his fault that his father died. He wasn't due to, he wasn't the reason for his father's death. It's been Antonio Kincaid, his favorite villain's father. And they ain't their favorite friend. He's just being sarcastic. That's the anti-everything. What is the anti-everything? It's everything he's anti. Just anti is everything. Uh, Sebastian's father was supposed to give Sebastian up because according to Antonio, Sebastian would become the Antichrist and a bunch of boring satanic stuff. In one of their dreams, they found the new location of anti-everything in their sidekicks. And Yoko, that's Sebastian's sister, is progressing quickly with their lessons. So we see Sage teaching Sebastian how to tame his powers and his power is to emit flame. But when he emits flames, he emits it uncontrollably and everything around him, including himself, burns. So to tame him with that, Sage tells Sebastian, your aura needs to be stabilized. You need to think about all the positive things that make you happy, that things that you need to protect. Protect that, Sebastian. The Sebastian's like, the rage, the fear, the pain, I can handle this. And the aura, you know, his fire just goes off and Sage is like, very well, Sebastian, you did well. It'll be nice if you could put, that, put this fire out around me. Well, you know, and Sebastian comments saying, well, at least my fire doesn't burn you unless I want it to burn. Then we have this flashback where we see the Super 8 or the Weird 8 where they come across the anti-everything and how he just, you know, sucks their energy, sucks their ore. Their ore is the power that was granted from them by this Haley's Comet. But whenever he sucks their ore, he just has this uncontrollable hunger for more power. And ever since he came across Sage, not Sage, Yoki and Sebastian, there's something about their aura that he just wants. It's like, I don't know if it's a girl that you let get away or a girl you could have asked it back at prom or something that you could have asked and there and she just became hotter or something. But <laughs> he just wants their aura. He wants their powers and he won't let it go. After that, this girl in the mask who does an energy blast with the anti-everything. And now we fast forward to 10 days before the catastrophe. She says, you know, we've been hiding out, running away from the anti-everything. We've been seeking refuge and we found Sage. And then Yoki, or y not Yoki, Yoku, her and them have a, you know, a dialogue about how they almost, uh, how someone betrayed the anti-everything, how their experience was, was the anti-everything. So we fast forward to them and their flashback with the anti-everything. And it start, we see that someone's face is getting melted and anti-everything says, let me put you out of your misery. And keep in mind that the real name of an anti-everything is Antonio. Now, anti-everything sucks her energy, sucks her aura, and Sebastian and Yoki are like, this is crazy, and this, the anti-everything's henchman just has like this sinister laugh going on, and then we see a talking dog. What I gotta say about this book, the dialogue is written very <laughs> untraditionally, and I believe they do that on purpose just to keep you drawn into the book. I mean, it's about darkness, it's about an peculiar character and, he get a, and when you got a peculiar character they speak in a peculiar way so anti-everything tells dominatrix wait a second are you okay dominatrix and dominatrix says no boss that's one of his henchmen the sisters are speaking to me telling me uh you shouldn't touch the boy referring to sebastian so when she puts his hand on his face and he's like no no not the face we get a deeper dive into who the anti-everything is his name is armando his dad tells him an idiot we get this i mean there's definitely some things here i can't even put on youtube but you could definitely check out the comic link in description and it's just bonkers man fast forward to you know more things happen in this book it's just crazy and a lot more dialogue and, and very peculiar looking dialogue but at the end of it all 
Elliot pops up with one of the weird eight and says, well, hey, Sage asked me to come here for you. We have a meeting and Sage, not Sage, but the one of the girls from the weird, I can't think of her name, says, are we going after the anti-everything? It would appear so. Are you glad or are you scared? Hmm. I'm not scared. It's just been a while. So let's do this thing. It is a, you know, it's one of those books. It's so different. You don't know if you should like it or dislike it at the time. It's just different. But got through it. It wasn't, it definitely was not a boring read. It's very mm, out there, <laughs> but you got to check out the book and let me know your thoughts on the comment below. Let me know what that being said, you promise me darkness issue number three. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of the book. If you haven't gotten a copy of your comment, go ahead and get your copy from ratedcomics.com. Link in description. If you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.